This time I promise it won't break I'm hoping that things haven't changed Life took us far apart But it never took away my heart Have you been holding it safe? Cause it's been hard You know I wanted to stay Caught us off guard But there was no other way Did you wait? Cause I've been counting the days And I'm calling up to say I'm coming home Stay up till morning and head out exploring Make up for months that we've missed Cause the cold air is calling And my head's recalling The moment that I was I'll see you later See you later so hard you know i wanted to stay caught so far but there was no other way did you wait cuz i've been counting the days hello welcome to a day in my life as you've just seen my morning is mostly spent just going in there, checking on the animals, making sure that everyone is okay, changing waters, things like that. I don't tend to do too much in the morning. I am not a morning person. Luckily my animals are not morning animals either because I struggle to wake up in the mornings. I've never been a morning person and I can't ever see myself being a morning person, which is fine, I think. I think I make up for it because most nights I'm editing things like videos, thumbnails, until like 10 o'clock at night, so I feel like I make up for not being a morning person because I'm awake doing things for so long anyway, but my morning is mostly spent just going in there, checking that everyone is okay, and then trying to wake up. So right now things are not normal. We're still in a lockdown whilst I'm filming this, and I also do pet sitting as a job alongside this, and I wanted to show you guys because it is a part of my daily life. I do go out and I look after other people's pets on a regular basis and I'm really missing all of the pets I look after regularly. I miss them so much so I want to include a few clips of some of them in today's video just to show you what I get up to on a daily basis when it comes to caring for other people's pets so here's a few clips of that. So on this particular day I was packing orders for my online store and I thought it would be interesting if I showed you guys the process of packing them up. Some of these items have been out of stock for a while but I have now restocked them in the store so if you're interested in any supplies for your small pets I will leave my website link down in the description. Also don't forget to follow the Facebook and the Instagram page for any updates of when things are going back into stock or any new products are going to be added. So in this one is a couple of things, there's also this really cute tunnel for mice or hamsters 
and then in this one there's also lots of the fruit hides, those seem to be super popular. We've also got one of the treat kebabs which I really like using with my rats and also a really cute Polaroid of Fig. This one has every single type of the niblots we offer, so you've got the carrot, the berry, and also the apple. Those are also really popular and sell out really quick. This one again has a couple of treats. We've got a bunch of whimsies and also some of the niblots too. These two big ones at the back, these have pretty similar things in. You've got a lot of the fruit hides, one of the bendy tunnels, one of the branches which are really good to use with your rats. I've used a couple of these with my rats and they really like them. Also, these seem to be quite popular. I'm glad I picked some of these up. These are just little cardboard houses that are really good for hamsters or mice, and I've been using these with my mice too, so I really like these. And then, as I said, this order is also really similar. You've got the fruit hide, some whimsies, and then two of the bendy tubes, so whoever's gonna end up with these is gonna have a lot of fun. And then we've also got one of these treat balls. I've got this in blue, I use it with my rats. So these are really good, someone's ordered one of them. So yeah, I'm just going to finish packaging up all these orders, stick all of the addresses on and then go to the post office and also do the weekly shop. Hello and welcome to the inside of my smart car. I've just arrived at the post office, I need to drop off the parcels. Luckily they know me pretty well in there, I have like a prepaid card thing. So it's really easy, I literally just go in, place the parcels on the counter and walk out. So it's super simple, I'm going to go and do that now and then I'll check in with you later. One hour later. So once I'm back from the post office, I just get on with the rest of my day and that includes vacuuming up all of the loose bedding the rats have kicked out of the cage during the night. I tend to have to do this about twice a day despite having a very deep base in the cage. They still end up kicking a lot of that out and it goes absolutely everywhere. Then whilst I'm in the room doing things, if one of the rats happens to be awake, I will open up the cage and let them have a run around whilst I'm getting other things sorted. Today Humbug was the only one that was awake at this time, so he did get to have a little run around by himself, and I had to try not to step on him because he was getting under my feet whilst I was tidying things, but that's okay, I've got pretty good at not stepping on him, but he just had a little run around whilst I was organising and tidying things in the pet room. So the next thing I wanted to do that day was to take some pictures. I try to do this as regularly as possible when I have a spare moment, but today I did decide to take a picture and I was just setting up the space on my desk with all of my lights and everything. And then depending on which one of the mice is awake and looking alert and looking like they want to come out, it does depend on which one I have to take a picture of. That day the mouse I decided to take a picture with is Vixen because she was the one that was the most awake and alert. I'm not going to go and wake up the others just to take a picture, so I did decide to take a picture with Vixen. So then I just place her onto the area where I want to take a picture. Today we took a picture with a mushroom and this is the finished result. I think it turned out super cute. After she was done, Vixen actually decided to crawl right up into my hand and have a cuddle. She is really cute and really affectionate. She loves anything like this. She loves having cuddles and having cheek rubs. So we just sat here for 10, 15 minutes while she had a cuddle. And as you can see in these clips, she really does enjoy it and she's really relaxed. After this, of course, I did give her a treat for being such a good girl and having her picture taken. And then I put her back into her enclosure. By this point some of the other mice were starting to wake up because they could hear me in the room so I also decided to give them a little bit of a treat too and then I also left the rest of the treats hidden and scattered around the cage for any of the other mice to find when they eventually wake up. Of course, I can't leave the rats out when it comes to treats. They were watching me intently across the room. So I did also give them a little bit of the homemade treats I made recently, and all three of them enjoyed them a lot. And then honestly, once I've got most of the things done in the early parts of the day, I'm just sat here editing videos, editing thumbnails, sat in the same position for hours and hours. It's probably the reason I have such bad posture, but I need to get these things done, so I'm sat in the same position. On the sofa for most of the day, that's what I spend most days doing, is sat editing things on my laptop. 
later that same evening. So a little bit later on after I've had my dinner is when I attempt to free roam the rats. I will also feed the mice and the rats later on in the video, but right now we are starting with their free roaming. So I do often get asked how to free roam your rats and I'm sure I will make a separate video on that eventually, but all I do is open up the cage and let them come out. Moose does need a bit of assistance because he's so old, I do have to help him out of the cage, but the other two usually just come out when they want to. So yeah, the next hour or so is just spent sitting with the rats, letting them come over to me if they want to and have a cuddle, play fighting with Crumble, mostly they just enjoy running around and going into all the boxes and tunnels. I will also use this time to practice some of their tricks, currently Crumble and Humbug don't know any tricks, but Moose is a pro, he does know a couple of tricks, and even in his old age he's still very enthusiastic about performing them, so that's mostly what we spend the time doing, during free roaming is playing in boxes, doing tricks, and having a cuddle. So when they've decided they've had enough, they do tend to climb up the bars and try to get back into the cage. Sometimes I will leave the door open for them to come and go, but if I really need them to get their exercise, I will shut the door until it's time for them to go back in. They do usually get very keen to go back into the cage because they know this means their food is going to come soon. So when it comes to feeding the rats, I do feed them a homemade mix following the Shunamite diet. As you can see in this clip, I did actually need to make some more of this. I did that the next day, but this was enough to feed them for this day. And I do also try to mix up the method of how I feed them. Today we did go for the foraging wheel. I really like this wheel, I will leave it linked in the description. But today we are just filling up the different sections of the wheel with the mix for the rats to work out how to get the food out. Of course we also need to feed the mice and as you can see they get so excited at food time. They are also fed on a mix which is loosely based on the Shunamite diet and this is kept in this container. So also with the mice I do like to mix up the way I feed them every day. Today we are going for scatter feeding just by scattering the food around the cage in the bedding and hiding it in the toys. This is super enriching for them because they have to find the food. And then in the evening I do have to spray the leaf insects again just to keep the humidity up. And this guy always sits on the lid, so I handled him quickly before putting him back onto the bramble. So yeah, that is pretty much it when it comes to my life and caring for my pets on a daily basis. Obviously I'm sure there's a few things I forgot to add, but that is the general gist of things. And of course things will differ depending on the day. Some days I'll be filming a video, other days I'm not going to the post office, and other days I do also feed Orbit because she doesn't eat every single day, so things do differ depending on what I need to do on that day, but that is the general gist of things. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit more of what I get up to on a daily basis. Please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!